a high value mindset is going to say I don't have this now but this is what I have and I'm going to start with it and then eventually I'm going to get to the point I want to get the result that I desire hey guys welcome back again to my youtube channel i liked the fact that i got to do my makeup the last time while talking to you guys so i tried something new in my makeup and i kind of liked it so i just wanted to do my makeup on camera again so i'm just going to start this off by you know prepping my face and kind of doing all the things that we normally do So uh, while I wait for that to dry, I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my brows. I'm going to be talking about how to glow up mentally, like how to move your mind to the next level as you kind of prepare for 2021. So I know that um, 2020 has, you know, kind of shown us that I can always like become a better person. There's room for growth. Things are possible for me. Basically, just you know being positive looking at the best in scenarios because like the mind is such a powerful thing if you haven't signed up to my self-care challenge the link is in the description box you should sign up it's such a mindset changer because like how you look at things is literally how your life kind of plays out so if i'm thinking that oh no matter what happens to me um i'm going to come out of this um things are going to work together for my good something is going to happen for me and stuff like that right it means that even when things that i don't plan to happen happen i'm thinking that oh there's good at the end of this table at the tunnel what's like lessons can i learn from this how can i improve for this how do i move forward from here i don't stay there and start wallowing and you know and moving forward doesn't necessarily mean that you have to move on and start doing something immediately no like there's beauty in rest in taking your time and whatnot in this life eh, sometimes you make plans and then you just realize that god says not today sis or you know not today girl and all that stuff and it feels like everything that you've planned goes down the drain but i sincerely believe that even when planning you should plan with it in mind that this doesn't have to happen exactly but like this is what i would want just because if you don't have any plan like you're not sure of what you want you can literally go anywhere any direction that type of thing right so i would say that one of the things that i'm so grateful for on my journey in life is just entirely like my mindset i'm just going to take us to school and start by saying that your mindset is literally what are your thoughts your feelings your reservations towards like any topic scenario situation happening all that stuff that's what your mindset is and i don't know if there's like types of mindset or something but i'm just going to say that there is a high value mindset and there's a low value mindset that's just my own definition of the two types of mindset is either your mindset is here or your mindset is here that's just what it is right so a high value mindset is always thinking about like how can i improve how can i make myself better i am not limited by the resources i have around me i'm just going to say a few things that i did that you know kind of helped me on my own journey and i hope that it can help you too i kind of made a list so i might be looking you know at my list to just make sure that i'm saying all the right things because i want to make sure that i give you guys all the information that you need so the first thing that i'm going to say on your you know mindset glowing up or leveling up journey is how you speak to yourself like what are you saying to yourself in the morning are you saying 
oh my god you're so stupid you're so this you're so that you know like saying that to yourself all the time is going to really affect you because if you don't even think good about yourself like how would you even consider yourself enough to make decisions or try to do things that are going to set you forward in life it's going to be so difficult so i think that the first thing you need to do is speak to yourself with love i know that sometimes it's hard because you look at other people's lives and then you look at yours and you're like oh my god valerie you could be doing better or something if you're judging people from what's going on on instagram remember that that's not anybody's real life i mean some of us have hacked the art of you know using our creativity to tell beautiful stories that doesn't have anything to do with how life is supposed to look on a day-to-day -day basis so don't look at someone else's life and then use that as a yardstick to talk to yourself or talk yourself down if you sign up to my self care channel i'm so sorry that i'm going to be making a lot of references to that a lot of the things that i share today i already shared on there so if you just want to have this information just click the link in the description box and just you know sign up to it a good way to practice you know talking to yourself in a good way is first off think this thing i'm about to say to myself would i be able to say to someone else if you said that to someone else and you automatically feel bad for saying that type of thing to someone else then you most definitely should not be saying that to yourself that's the first step i know that sometimes it's hard because we've gone through some things we've been through some phases so it's just very very hard for us to all of a sudden just start saying good things to ourselves and it's totally fine but this is where affirmations come in with affirmations you can take your time and put like really good quotes together i have an affirmation sequence in my self-care challenge i also put some affirmations together things that you can say things that you can speak over your life do you know how powerful your mouth is and if your mouth is now very powerful why would you want to use the power in your mouth of your mouth rather to impose negative things in your life you don't want to do that so speak to yourself with love speak to yourself with kindness so the next thing on my list is how you spend your time this is what i'm going to say i think that one thing that i know that we've heard this a lot and it might just seem very random or boring to us but basically what you feed yourself is what you're going to see so if you start spending your time nurturing your mind listening to uplifting podcasts things that you know just put your mind in a different place in a different frame if you spend your time doing that you would see that the things that come up out of your mouth are going to be very very different it's time to stand up from your phone stop sitting down scrolling through instagram morning till night like you cannot just keep consuming you spend time doing things that will uplift you that will change your mindset read about things that inspire you read about things that you want to get more knowledge about just you know to take yourself to the next level spend your time doing things that makes sense you could pick up a new skill you could tell yourself that you know what i'm going to prioritize and i'm going to start taking care of my skin so you make time for that you could tell yourself you know what i'm going to become healthy i'm going to eat better so i'm just going to make out time to make food that is healthy or something but how you spend your time the truth is like what we think or if you think something is important to you right if you say you don't have time this is what i always tell people if something is important to you you'll give time to that thing right so are you when when you when you make plans to do things for yourself and you don't follow through with them are you saying that you're not important to you so just think about it like that make time spend time doing things that are going to uplift you things that are going to change your mind one thing that i have done right is making sure that i make an effort to read something every day it could be a medium article it could be listening to if i cannot read i listen to an audiobook or a podcast just make sure that you're learning something every day and it doesn't have to be you know intense for it to be classified as learning just make sure that you're feeding your mind because what you what you're feeding what you're putting in is what you definitely put out so just make sure that you're feeding your mind the next thing that you can do to level off your mindset is your environment so i don't know if you guys know just in case this is your first video you're watching i just recently moved to my new apartment in lagos nigeria and when i do a review video or kind of if i have any clips where i showed you my 
process you see that i did save up money to be honest but i would always take out money to from my um earnings my income to make sure that i did my space to a certain standard because i wanted i i wanted to do my space just because i wanted to show myself love so create an environment that you love and invite it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be so much um go to places where you appreciate it don't go to places where you'll be put down so this is what i'm going to say right if for example you were to give someone who is really important to you something you know the amount of time you're going to take in thinking about that gift or thinking about that thing you want to do for them do that every time you have to do something for yourself because i've realized that a lot of times we know how to prioritize other people we know how to prioritize other people's wants other people's needs but then when it just comes to us like our own lives we find it difficult to do the same thing for ourselves so create an environment that embodies the love that you have for yourself it could be you know using candles it could be lighting a diffuser this is this like i said this video i'm telling you things that i have done what that does for your mindset is that it tells you that you are important it shows you that you're spending time with you so in case or in any situations where you might forget because the truth is that sometimes we tend to forget who we are or how important we are it would remind you the next point that i'm going to make in leveling up your mindset is self-care and intentionally intentional living i already talked about prioritizing yourself um self-care is really important uh, there are different aspects of self-care there are different pillars um and self-care is different things for different people so i always tell people whenever they ask me to kind of speak about self-care that when it comes to self-care you just need to find out what works for you because what works for you might not be the same thing that will work for another person so it's like a journey you try different things do i like this do i not like this so that's just really what it is but um just being really intentional about everything you have to do like this is its thing right I've noticed that some of the people that I really even admire or when I think of the kind of life that I want like the future I want for myself I don't want to do things like anyhow I want to be intentional I want to be really really intentional about how I live my life if you follow me on Instagram or on other social platforms that I'm kind of showing you or sharing that journey with you by the content that I'm putting up because in the world of today like everything is just moving so fast like it's like there's no time to think there's no time to serve it you're all either hustling and bustling or you're not hustling and bustling and i've lived my life like that i remember in 2019 i've said this if you haven't watched my mid-year review video go and watch it because i think i touched on that there i was living like that and i was so burnt out i was burnt out at at 21 like i felt like oh my god i had to do all these things if i don't do all these things life will pass me by life is not passing you by everybody's cock is different so i'm not saying take your time like don't work hard i never said don't work hard because i believe in you know getting things done doing big things and getting things done don't like look at someone who is 35 and feel bad that you're where you're at at 22 I hope that makes sense if you care for yourself and you're intentional like you would treat yourself better you would know your seasons you would know the moments you're in and you would actually take time to enjoy those moments and not over stress yourself over not being able to achieve certain things like imagine if i was beating myself up so much that i wasn't able to achieve some of the goals i had for this year i wouldn't be able to move on to do things for the next year i know that 2020 has kind of made us feel like if you go ahead and set goals like i mean you don't know how things might turn out and stuff like that so you know maybe instead you should like just stay and wing things and just see how it will go well that's some people might say that that is great advice i think that that is stupid advice i set goals for this year and in as much as this year did not go in any way how like i would have liked this year to go there was one thing however those goals that i set kind of just told me the things that were important to me for this year so at every point where something happened that kind of made what i was trying to achieve at the time unachievable all i just did was pivot and what it's pivoting is like okay 
this is the main goal or this is the reason why I, I'm trying to do this thing that I'm trying to do right with this thing no longer being possible like how else can I achieve this thing that I want to achieve so I think it's so important to set goals it's good for you um, it's really really good to set goals um, but however setting effective goals is a whole different ball game last year I held like a goal setting workshop I'm sorry at the beginning of this year I actually held a goal setting workshop which is the period in which I set some of my own goals as well so for you to set effective goals what needs to happen is that it's not just about writing down it's not just about writing down what you want because it's like imagine I write down I want to be healthier right that's a goal that makes sense but writing down i want to be healthier doesn't show me a plan or a step-by-step -step process on how to get there but imagine i said i want to be healthier and then on diet i say try to have a smoothie every morning try to go on a run i've gone ahead to kind of put out steps that would help me get to my desired goal point at least that way i'm doing those things and you know my goal kind of makes sense i think that setting goals that way i think that that's something that has changed my life it has changed my life because it's made me realize that every little step i'm actually making it's a step to kind of get what i would really like to achieve so stop you know setting silly goals don't do that don't do that honey don't whenever you want to set a goal or whenever you want to write a goal ask yourself what steps do i need to take to get there and then put those steps down as part of your goals that way you know it all makes sense eventually and the last and uh, final thing that I will say that has kind of helped me level up my mindset is like my image. So I know that this one thing is something that you know people might have different opinions about saying or oh, how you look doesn't matter and things like that. Guys, I beg to differ. I don't know if you guys know this, but there was a point in my life where I did not really care how I looked. I know that's hard to believe, but I didn't care. I would wear anything i would act anyhow and that was kind of a reflection of how i saw myself and that's not cute um so the thing about image is like when you begin to you know pay attention to yourself how you look how you come across and all that stuff you'd realize that um it makes you think about yourself better there's just something about how you look you know how you look kind of influences how people treat you i know that you know that's not ideally what we want but the truth is that there's some principles in life that are not going to change you know like dress how you want to be addressed <sighs> i don't know when that's ever going to leave how we do things in this world i don't think that it looks like that might leave anytime soon but that is definitely something and with image nobody's saying oh you know um go and start buying all the luxury items or anything no that's not what anybody's asking you to do but it's little things like you know making sure you iron your clothes making sure you're wearing makeup that's good for you making sure you're investing in your skin um making sure that you're spending time in like feeding your body ironing your clothes bringing your best self out on a day-to-day -day basis and I'll tell you why. Um, the world is very visual. Everyone is very visual, including you. So what you kind of, even the brain, the brain is very visual. The brain is very, very visual. So the truth is that what you, what you see affects your mind so much. You have no idea how much it affects your mind. It affects your mind so, so much what you see so when you start like treating yourself or you know creating a certain image of yourself or you know investing in your image you'd see that it begins to slightly change how you think about yourself but you know that before you start working on your image there's work to be done on the inside there's work on self-love there's work on you know um loving your um, loving yourself caring for your body care for other parts of yourself but I know that image has like really helped. Um, it also helps because like 
it helps you know who you truly are or like who you truly are rather you're no longer like moved by trends or what is going on so there was a point in my life where i was very like trendy you know trying to get on the latest trends and all of that and while that while that is cool it's important to take your time and kind of find out what's good like what you like and just live and be that person so um you know everyone is wearing neon green is this who you want to be girl it's not don't wear neon green like it's that simple to be honest let me go off camera and finish my makeup and then i'll come back so um that's it guys uh i'm just going to wrap up this video by saying that your mind is really powerful and leveling up your mind is such an important thing and i think that the earlier you do that on your adult journey the better for you there's no rush you know take your time grow as you'd please take all the time you need to become the woman you want to be but i believe that in life if you can learn from other people's experiences and advance so that you do better in your own life then it's like someone is giving you revision questions that are exam questions and you're not taking it so i've spoken to a lot of women who are older than me i have friends who are older than me and some of these things i have learned by speaking to them and kind of seeing how or what they are doing in their own lives and kind of trying to apply that to my life and as we go into 2021 i know that 2020 has messed with a lot of our minds um you know a lot of things happened this year they were like dead there was you know heartbreak like there was just like so many things this year wasn't the best year to be honest if you do not go on that journey during the lockdown like the rest of the world i mean it's never late you know you can start the next the new year by you know taking this mindset in and one thing that i also want you guys to always remember is that a high value mindset does not operate from a place of scarcity or lack or desperation a high value mindset is going to say i don't have this now but this is what i have and i'm going to start with it and then eventually i'm going to get to the point i want to get the result that i desire and i know that a lot of us think that um motivating ourselves is really easy um it might be for you but it's not for everyone some of us kind of have to learn that one thing that helps me is also vision boarding which is another thing that we'll kind of touch on if we do the event at the end of this year so you guys should vote below and let me know if you guys want me to do this event at the end of this year um so vision boarding kind of like creating a visual picture a very very visual picture of like where you want your mind to operate from what the things that you're, you're trying to bring or the things that you want because sometimes when you get um unmotivated let's say you're in a new job and you're struggling to put in work or you know be on top of things you look at the vision but i remember that oh you wanted to advance or move to the next rule in less than a year are you gonna do that if you're not working hard so that's just um what it is but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i just you know did my makeup and wanted us to have a heart to heart conversation on our mindsets um i love you guys i cannot believe that we're on 3k watch time hours um i would just say that if you've gotten this part of this video don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and you see those of you who um do the video on insta stories when you're watching and tag me you guys are the real mvp because every time you do that it kind of helps my channel grow because one new person discovers my content and yeah i can't wait to you know be monetized and just you grow and let more people come and join our circle i love vlogs but i love videos like this videos like this are really the reason why i joined youtube so I hope you learned from it if you haven't seen my playlist on advice or lifestyle check out those two playlists because i have so many gems for you guys i also will see you guys in the next one